Hello, this is Jennifer McCray, the J, the J Shrink, and um, I'm here to tell you about something that happened to me uh, that um, made that I could have been the. I could have been the next Sandra Bland. Let's just say I could have been Sandra Bland. Uh, I had an incident that happened to me three years ago during the height of the Sandra Bland um, um, controversy, controversy and everything in case and uh as you can see this is sandra bland and sandra bland everybody know that texas passed the sandra bland law for her and i'll tell you a little bit about that later okay um okay let me start it this way like sandra i was come uh, uh, well we were in different venues i was coming from my apartment but she was she was she had a um a minor um a, a, a minor motor infraction a vehicle infraction uh, so uh that uh, but mine happened at my apartment okay so uh i was coming out of the apartment Okay, I was coming out of the apartment, okay, and I was met with, let me, let me get this up. It's got all these things. Okay. And um, I was met, like her, by an officer. And I, I'm a black, uh, intelligent black woman. Um, yeah. So anyway, what had, ha what had happened was the, there were three police officers two women, one black, one white, and the lead officer was a white male. Okay. So he um asked me my name, my address, my uh phone number, and uh said he was looking for warrants if I had any outstanding warrants. And, um, um, okay, this surprised me. It, it was also the time when the mailman came. So, a, a, a bunch of people from the apartment complex, they were nosily looking and screening their necks, trying to see what happened. So, um, I said, no, I said, um, I told him, I said, I told him, you know, all the, my information and, um, he got, you know, that big head, like this, the one, the Sandra, uh, the Sandra Bland, uh, cop. And I said, and he would never, he wouldn't tell me. I said, well, what are you, um, what are you charging me with? If so, I'll take the citation, I'll pay the fine, I'll do whatever I need to do. Uh, I'm late and I have to go to, uh, my mental health counselor. Okay. So he proceeded to ask me a bunch of dumbass questions, order me around, and um, this is Sandra and that officer. So that's just um, so I mean it, it made no sense. I said, okay, this is the third time. Why are 
you stopping me? I, I mean, I need to know that's within my rights. And I also said, well, you know, um, um <laughs> just thinking about it, just. I said, you, you, uh, you know, I, 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 you, you're supposed to tell me what I've done wrong instead of just asking me senseless questions, which I could answer. Okay, so what it, what happened uh, was he said, "Ma'am, you getting a little agitated? You gotta calm down some. Where are you going anyhow?" I said, um, uh, that's my, uh, medical transportation van and I'm going to see, going to my counseling, uh, session. And he said, oh, that's why you like that. And I'm like, like I said, like what? Oh, just with an attitude. And I said, no, sir, I'm not have an attitude. You know, my father was a military police officer. I know how he told me how to ask, answer questions. And so anyway, he uh said, and after, you know, I kept telling him my rights and my dad was, a, you know, a military police officer and he didn't have the right to do this, that, 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 and I knew my rights. Oh, he got mad. I said, look, I say, I, you give me that, that st citation now and I will leave. You are causing me to be late. So he said, ma'am, you better cool, cool it down with your attitude. Uh, uh, or else I'll just take you to LSU and put you on the 10th floor since you, uh, since you are uh, mentally ill. I, I, I said, I said, excuse me. I said, I'll, I'll, I'll take you to LSU and put you on a 10th floor. And a 10th floor is a psychiatric ward of our local medical school. Okay. I said, you know what? I'm going to tell you again. I know my rights. My daddy was a military police officer. You cannot detain me or take me to any kind of mental health facility unless I am a threat to myself or others. Do I look like I am a threat to myself or others? And uh, he didn't say anything. So I said, well, you know, uh, I, just give me that, this, uh, and then he went and talked to the, uh, the, uh, transportation man who told, confirmed what I was, where I was going and everything. And so he came back. Okay. Put his, uh, citation, pa uh, pad back in his pocket. And said, well, that a, um, someone, uh, from your management in your apartment said that you made a hostile threat at the corporate office. The, uh, corporate office said you came down and made a hostile threat. I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I don't, this does not even make sense. The call come down here for stupidity like this. This 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 does not make sense. And so anyway, I say, well, uh if you don't have anything for me, you can talk to the air. I'm gone. You know what I did? I left. They sit there with their minds open. So um I understand as a young black educated woman, a black educated woman who knows her rights, knows everything, like Sandra, I, I could have been like, like Sandra, you know, 
She knew her rights. She was getting agitated. But I was lucky that I wasn't because what happened to her was horrific. The guy took her, the cop took her to the local jail and they, uh, you know, they detain her and everything. And they ask you if you have, uh, mental health issues like, uh, suicide or harm, or, or, or or if you're harm, harm to somebody else, or if you have some other type of problem. And Sandra said, yes, she was suicidal. And the thing about it was that they put that on there. And the, the, that, oh, I, I can't think of that. Denton County, I think it was called. The, uh, the, 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 the I'm getting totally tired now. Um, the prosecutor, the, uh, no. Okay, let, let, let me cool down for a minute because this is bringing back bad memory. <laughs> anyway, so, um, they, they put her, they, they put her on suicide watch. Uh, she was supposed to be seen, I'm not sure, every 15 to 30 minutes. And they were supposed to come to her, uh, to, to her cell to check on her because she was a risk. And she tried to call her a uh, family, but she couldn't get through or something happened. So about two, three days later, they came to do a suicide check. And let they allegedly found her that, that she hang herself, hung, uh, hung herself with a um, garbage bag from the trash can. Uh, and they ruled it a suicide. Okay. So eventually, what they did is, um, let me do this. Uh, it took about two years, but they did get the Sandra uh, Bland Act passed in Texas, uh, stiffening, uh, 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 um, giving uh, inmates with mental illness mental illnesses, um, more rights and, uh, for them to be checked on and for them to be treated adequately. And I think her family got $1.9 million. But the fact that Texas passed that act, there needs to be a, a Sandra. Oh, and the act also had, uh, had, well, well, people would have to take continuing education classes, those officers, so, so that, you know, they'll know what's coming up in psychiatric or mental or the, the mental health, uh, field because it, things constantly change in the mental health field and the psychology and psychiatry field. So they have to, uh, and then they have to have some special co cops to that who only are trained to um, handle those inmates who have a mental illness. And it was very it when I was on the I was on the internet at the time. I saw that. And I looked at the video, and that hit me. That hit me hard. Because I said, that could have been me. That could have been me. Three co co police officers, myself, and I'm just, I'm going to tell you my rights. You, you, you already know that. But... Instead of taking me to jail like he did her, they wanted to take me to the mental ward for no reason. 
So I just want to tell you, if you have some type of mental illness, uh, if you are uh, stopped by a, by a police officer uh, one way or another, um, be cooperative. Uh, even and, and and if you do get anxious, do like Sandra and I did. Sam, where this situation is making me anxious. Don't say you are making me anxious, cause that that'll that'll upset them more. And um and and just try, you know, just I know it's hard because you can't control your emotions. Just just try to, you know, tell people. Tell them you know your rights. Uh, you you you, you want to know why, what for, how, and you know, and things of that nature. So um, I just wanted to go ahead and tell you a little bit about that because I had my Sandra Bland moment, and. It was it was just very frightening when you have three officers, you know. It, it it was very frightening. She had one at first, and then another one came. But I had three, like I was some type of unibomber or something. But anyway, I just want everybody with um, mental health issues or, or or family members of uh, people with mental health issues to know to tell them they cannot. Do anything to you unless you are a danger to yourself or others. If you are not a danger to attacking, uh, self harming, or attacking someone or cursing someone out, then um, they can't do anything to you. Um, now they may can do if you. Cursing and stuff too bad, disturbing the peace. They they may can get you on that. They may, yeah, I'm not sure, but that's all I wanted to tell you. And it, and it could happen to anybody. Y'all know me. I'm educated. I, I've been in the in the mental health counseling field for a long time. So it, it, it I just wanted to warn uh, everybody. And I hope this advice is helpful, and thank you very much.